Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to talk about what to do when your Norton or McAfee antivirus expires, or maybe you don't like the antivirus you currently have. There is a solution that I prefer, and we're going to discuss this by bouncing around a little bit. This article is in the video description. Here's what you need to know, and we'll discuss some of the other stuff you see here while I'm doing other things. You're going to want to uninstall your antivirus, and I use IOBit Uninstaller. Once again, in the article link, we provide links to, somewhere down here, McAfee Removal Tool and the Norton Removal Tool if you want to use those. I've been using IOBit Uninstaller, frankly, for as long as I can remember because it will remove all leftover files, folders, and registry entries, leaving your computer clean of what you are installing, where the Windows Uninstaller does not. So grab IOBit Uninstaller and find your antivirus and check it and click uninstall. When you get to this point here, automatically remove residual files and if you want to play it safe, create a restore point before you start. Not a bad idea. There's a reason we're going to uninstall it. The problem we have is, while this is uninstalling, is that nowadays most of the antivirus stuff isn't free anymore. You can see this here. This will pop up. Uninstall, remove user data uncheck here. This is one of the reasons you got to get this garbage off of here. It's so full of bloat and garbage and it's everywhere. Look at this crap. Tell us what. Just uninstall it. So essentially, as you can see in the screenshot that I took, if you look at our antivirus listings, you'll see a lot of ad supported and you'll see a lot of freemium. Ad supported means they typically are going to try and upgrade you, upsell you, and Where'd I go? And freemium's very similar. In other words, freemium will be, let's say, limited. So it might have antivirus, but not a firewall, or might not provide some of the other features that are available. So let's keep watching this uninstall here and see how we're doing. It's still going. So one of the things people don't know, believe it or not, is two of the best antiviruses out there, if you want to pay for it, would be Kaspersky and Bitdefender. There's a whole bunch of stuff of people crying about Kaspersky in Russia, but they're crying from their Chinese-made devices about a Russian antivirus. They didn't make the company to steal the nuclear codes from your computer. And you can check AV comparatives. Go ahead and Google away, and you will find that Kaspersky and Bitdefender, especially Bitdefender, are consistently number one. Not too far behind would be ESET. And that might surprise you because you don't recognize the names a lot of you don't. A lot of us geeks do. Now we're going to wait for this for a minute just to make sure it finishes. And I may hit pause when we reboot. We want to make sure that this finishes up first. So while it's doing that, we'll discuss a little bit more. What you want to do is, once you uninstall it, is Windows Defender Antivirus is going to take over, which is now part of Windows Security. As you can see, it already did. I meant to show you this before I started the video. This said Norton's in this part right here beforehand. However, virus and threat protection and Windows security comes with, as you can see, account protection, firewall protection. And somewhere down here, I think it's this link right here, explains everything about Windows device performance and health and everything that's included. So feel free to read that to understand where you're going. But what we're out to do here is get this out of here. And it might want to reinstall now, I'm not sure. So let's do restart later and see if this completes or not. It's not a perfect world. So again, the one thing Windows Defenders is not the highest rate as antivirus, but it is quite capable. So for example, most people who know enough not to click links and emails, not to fall for phishing, scam, stuff like that. It'll block a lot of that stuff, but a little common sense goes a long way. I don't care what antivirus you have. The advantage is it's free and it's included with Windows 10. So once you uninstall, there it is. So take note to be patient with it. Once you uninstall, you've got your antivirus. Now here's the thing. Maybe you want to try another antivirus, but don't. Why don't you just wait and try out Windows Defender and see if you like it. I'm not trying to sell you on it, it's free. You can always go look and you can check Major Geeks and compare stuff. So you can see we've got 108 items, 105, three items, get services running. McAfee does that, Avast does that. So it's still deleting leftovers, that's because there's so many of them. So you can see this is taking a while just to get this junk off of here. So I may not even bother with a reboot for the purpose of the video because we've covered most of it now. And there you have it. So once you're done, you can come over to Major Geeks. You can go to Antivirus. And you can go to All-in-One Suites. 
if you want to find something else. And I would recommend looking by date or popularity. Popularity is a little tricky because Major Geeks have been around for 20 years. So although AVG may have been popular 15 years ago, it may not be the big one anymore. So you might want to look at date just because you can see who's keeping their stuff up to date. Let's see what we got here. Avira, bloated. There's NAD32. That's the ESET I mentioned to you before. Another one. Avira again. So this is the guys who've been updating recently. Avast, horribly, horribly bloated. I had to write a whole tutorial on how to install it as a lightweight virus and make a video. That's pretty sad. I, I, and I didn't make the video to teach how to do it. I made the video to make the point that it's a bloated piece of junk. So, yeah. Um, Bitdefender has a free edition. It's very limited, and you can upgrade from there. Or, as you can see, Internet Security, Antivirus Plus. And it's kind of funny because when you look at it, Bitdefender's rated a 4. I think Kaspersky's rated a 3 by our users. Now think about that. The two best antiviruses should be rated 5 star, period. So we had that whole Russian thing a while back, so I'm thinking people are downvoting A because it's not free and B because it's Russian. Are we done? We're done. So there you go. Let me... You'd want to reboot now, but regardless, as I mentioned, you can see that you clear out any messages you have windows immediately starts saying you have no virus or threat protection what you do you see the green check mark down here there you go so as you can see and as i mentioned before you now have your virus and threat protection for free just use a little common sense but that applies to everything there you have it geeks friends non-geeks geekettes bottom right corner you'll see a little subscribe button we hope we helped you out and remember that this works for everything it doesn't matter what your antivirus is if you want to get rid of it take it out with iobit uninstaller let Windows Defender take over and see if you like it. Piece of cake, right? Thanks for watching as always. See ya.